what's up guys so today we will be talking about what is lazy evaluation in data bricks so let's get started so lazy evaluation in spark refers to a strategy where transformation on rdd are not immediately executed instead spark waits until an action is called so in a previous video i have already explained what rdd is uh, so if you have a confusion you can go back to my previous video so until an action is called the lazy evaluation uh, does not do anything so let's say for example uh, here we are scanning the file and then we are applying group by and then aggregate so here just we have scanned the file so no action has been action operation has been applied so what is what was the action operation that's that also i have explained in my previous video so uh, please check out my uh, previous video if you don't understand what action operation is and then and then a group by is applied and then if it is dot show dot show is an action operation uh, so once action operation is applied then we see jobs and dax in the intermediate uh, result like for example scanning and then doing a group by these all are performed as a, a lazy evaluation in databricks so these are all are, are, are our uh, lazy evaluation so until an action is hit intermediate results uh, acts as a lazy evaluation in databricks uh, so uh, what is DAG in Databricks? Uh, a DAG would mean or a directed a cyclic, a cyclic graph, which means we don't the graph does not go on loop. It it goes one after another. Uh, so it is a visual representation of a sequence of operation you perform on your data. It, it is something uh, like your flow chart that shows how your data is processed step by step. So we will look into this in in more example so let's say let's say i have scanned the file first so how is my DAG written is on the stage one scanning is being done uh so this is the one DAG, and then whole stage scan uh what the spark uh engine internally performs some optimization technique and converts the the data into uh, java uh, bytecode so that's what the optimization has been done and then then uh, as we have used group by so group by would trigger is it's a wide operation wide wide transformation so it would it would trigger exchange uh, so this is what exchange uh, exchange uh, is happening here so this is written this is written in in the form of tag so it shows the step by step execution of your uh, spark code so stage one if you see here the stage one that's what uh, the stage one uh, here refers to so a DAG is created for this stage one these are the the task uh, that a, a executor does so again uh, if we if we if we see a stage stage two and stage three step is two gets skipped because it has already been done on on stage one so it would not do again however uh, we know like rdd is immutable so it tries to create if suppose if stage one fails then this would have not skipped this would have uh, started and then stage three would have have been implemented but since the the step two has already been done in this stage one phase so this has been skipped so that's the feature of rdd like it recreates your stage from from scratch so if in case if this was ha would have been filled then this would have been started this would have not been skipped so uh, so the reason for this being skipped is it has already been done on stage one and then on stage three if we see the aqe is is the default uh the default optimization that databricks uh, this spark does and then whole code uh whole stage code chain uh, is triggered so this is the process the DAG will be just a process so your flow chart uh what your uh code execution would look like so this is just the basic example of how what your DAG is and uh 
how it runs how the core engine of uh, databricks uh, dag is created so that's it for this video guys if you like my video please subscribe and encourage me to create more videos thank you for now bye